Now, words like how far to eat money, chop chop, down for, self, are all new Nigerian words added to the Oxford English Dictionary. Plus TV Africa spoke with Nigerian lecturer Kinsley Gwani, who helped put the words in the English Dictionary. Dr. Gwani is an associate lecturer, Newcastle University, UK, and full time lecturer at the University of Nigeria in Sukkah. He joined us live from the UK. Now, 29 new words in the Oxford English Dictionary, all Nigerian words, and some colloquial. Tell us about it. Well, um, thank you so much. It's um, a project I'm so, so much excited about, and uh, we've been on this project since 2018, I think early 18 or late, late um, 2017. And as you said, um, these are English expressions, so expressions used by Nigerians. And uh, some of them are colloquial, as you mentioned, that is some of them um, um, the source, maybe from Pidgin, we have those um, or them are from indigenous Nigerian languages, like Ekusi, for instance, which has its origin in both Yoruba and Igbo. So, um, so they are not all colloquial, but these are expressions that are used even in, in formals under the English in uh, Nigeria. Well, Nigeria is a very important country in Africa, uh, not just in terms of um, our population, but in terms of our economy. But also, uh, Nigeria is also the most populous black nation using English um, in, in the world, so to speak. Our number counts a lot. And this is uh, an indication of how much Nigeria, how much contribution Nigeria has made to English language. And um, you see Tokumbo, for instance, you see Namaput. Now, we have words like Tokumbo, Okada, Mamaput. Where does this place Nigeria in the map of Africa and the world? I mean, you see Tokumbo, you see Okasi, Danfo, these are all um, are connected to transport, um, a means of transportation. And there are other ones that are connected to food, like Mamaput, um, like a Buka Teria, like Buka. These are all connected to food. And language is cultural. This is just an indication of how much English language has imbibed, has um, sucked in, so to speak, um, the, the culture it needs. I mean, Really interesting. Words like how far, Seth, etc. How long to, how, how long rather do you think this will take to gain universal acceptability? Um, the way language behaves is not something you can easily predict. Um, as, as I as said, language is a, is a living being. So, but what, what is important is that um, this is going to stop loads of argument and loads of explanations because one can simply, you can direct someone and someone says, uh, that's not English. You can quickly open the dictionary on your, on your, on your phone and show the person. Well, yes, um, not every, because I said language is cultural. But, uh, these things uh, explain cultural realities in Nigeria. So everybody in every part of the world will not immediately know what these things are because they are now in the dictionary so as nigerians when we use english with other Eng people from other english-speaking countries we still have to be careful to 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 speak uh, multiculturally um, um with that sense that everybody will not understand this reality so um, we may need to still do the explanation but with time these are english words these are in the english lexicon english dictionary a very popular one for that matter oxford and with time should we expect more Nigerian words in the English dictionary soon? There are many, um, many more words will come. Um, the time and when exact time, I do not know. But as I mentioned before, language is a, a living thing. It grows. So once it grows and once what more words come into use and become very popular in the, in the country first, then these words will be added. It's an ongoing project, and um, I'm happy I'm still on the team, and I'm continuing continue to consult for them to provide a cultural context and the linguistic um, expertise, some some, um, some aspect of the linguistic expertise, and some other aspects of lexicographical expertise also comes from um, um, the staff at Oxford, but I am the consultant on the Nigerian English um, um, words. So we continue to work on this, and. Um, there are certainly more ways to add, which there are. Thank you very much, Dr. Guan. You're speaking to us from Newcastle.